Oh, so you think corn should just be cast as a side dish? No. It's about time that corn gets treated as a main event. Welcome back to the second episode of Big Screen and Barbecue with my partner, Samsung. So as you guys know, we'll be watching stuff on the Terrace TV, Samsung's latest new TV, their first outdoor TV, which is a big deal. So we'll be grilling and chilling, watching a movie, and talking about that new TV, The Terrace, again. This movie is based in Cuba, and it's got a lot of Cuban vibes. It's vibrant blue water, it's outside, so it makes me think, okay, we're grilling, and we need Cuban spice. And I thought, all right, I'm already in the mood for elote, but what if we added a little bit of a Cuban twist to it? I said this last time, but this TV has revolutionized cooking outdoors for me. I mean, it's been a huge deal. I'm really excited to be a part of this whole thing with them. So with all that said, let's do this, shall we? Now, start with four whole corn left in their husk, then just go ahead and peel them. I like to peel them like a banana, but leave that little sort of stick at the end, right? You don't need to stick because it's got its own. And if you want to make it a little bit cuter, you could take some of your corn leaves and sort of tie it at the base of that little nub there and get a nice little bow. Isn't that cute? I mean, that that's Michelin. Coat them lightly in a neutral tasting oil, like canola. Place them on your grill and begin grilling them, rotating them every so often so you get some light charring. But be careful not to dry the corn out, right? We want this to stay nice, plump, and juicy. Now while that's grilling, let's get a little mayonnaise going. We're gonna make this the OG way. No fancy tools, just a bowl and a whisk. Start off by separating two egg yolks into your bowl, followed by two teaspoons or 10 grams of stone ground mustard, two teaspoons or five grams of smoked paprika powder, some salt to taste, and about one tablespoon or 14 milliliters of white distilled vinegar. Whisk all that together. And now look, I know a lot of you guys have seen this before, right? You keep whisking while slowly streaming in the oil, but I have a little trick here for you. Instead, use a little squirt bottle and start off by squirting little droplets of oil while constantly whisking. And then once that it begins to emulsify, slowly move towards a nice steady stream of one cup or 240 milliliters of neutral tasting oil, like canola oil. Remember to continuously whisk. You do not want this to break. You're constantly whisking. Once all of your oil is added, you should have a nice, thick, beautiful, stabilized mayonnaise. Another beautiful, stabilized thing is the Terrace TV's anti-glare. Look at the sun. Even with these crazy blinding rays and a little bit of partial shade, the picture comes through on the Terrace totally clear. Anyway, back to our corn. Now, once your corn is nice and grilled and it looks like this, take it off the grill, Brush it with a generous amount of your smoked chili mayo. Now off to the side over here, I have about two cups or 240 grams of finely grated cotija cheese. And then simply take your corn and coat it generously on every little square inch of the corn with your grated cotija. Once it's thoroughly coated, give it a little drizzle of some hot sauce. I prefer either Valentina's or Tapatio, up to you though. Okay, so we have our elote, which we'll taste in a second, but first let's talk about our deconstructed version. Again, start by grilling your corn. And look, a little bit of a note that I didn't say before. When you grill your corn, you don't need to cook corn. Fun fact, you can eat corn raw. Really, most of the time, you're just heating corn up. You don't really want it mushy, you want that crunch. Speaking of crunchy, let's quickly talk about how crisp this picture quality is. I'm talking QLED. Make this water feel like you could pop a rhino. Ideally with, you know, elote in hand. Now back to the corn. So just get that light char and get it nice and hot, and you'll need about two whole pieces of corn for this. Once you've grilled two pieces of corn, remove all the kernels with a knife, place it in a bowl, and add three tablespoons or 42 grams of your smoked chili mayo that you made earlier, along with some salt to taste, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, and a tablespoon of mojo seasoning. The juice from half of a lime, then stir all that together, you've got your baseline flavor set up, right? Just spoon some of that corn into a bowl, top it with a little drizzle of your hot sauce, some pickled red onion, some diced avocado, and some thinly sliced, really nice quality serrano chilies, some freshly grated aged manchego cheese. It's really, we're really getting fancy here with the manchego. And then finally, some cilantro leaves to garnish to make it look like a pretty little garden that you're then going to shovel into your mouth. Okay, I know this looks smaller than you had expected. It's more of like a salty creamy. Is it better or worse? I don't... Can I bird chill? Anyway, so, this elote is pretty good, okay? Would I say that it's the same in the original? Probably not, but it's good and I enjoyed it. Very cool, thank you guys. All right, moving on to the next one. So we've got a deconstructed elote. It's not traditional at all. People will be mad and that's okay, all right? I'm not gonna say this is better because it's so different that it's not the same thing. But do I enjoy it more? Kind of? 
only because it's easier to eat and there's more texture and flavor. But in the world of simplicity, you cannot defeat an original elote. This isn't a battle, okay? This was simply just a rediscovery. But you wanna know what else is a rediscovery? B-roll. Alright guys, and that is it. So, we made a lote two different ways. One very traditionally, and then one deconstructed with a little bit of Cuban spice. Now, is that dish revolutionary? Mm, well, maybe not as revolutionary as the Terrace TV, but it is extraordinarily satisfying, and it deserves a spot on your table. Again, thank you to Samsung for partnering with us to do this beautiful mini-series, Big Screen and Barbecue. It's been a ton of fun, and remember, we have one more episode coming, so keep your eyes peeled, because this one, this is a special one. To learn more about Samsung's new outdoor TV, the Terrace, Go to the link in the description, click that, go check it out. It's very, very cool. Really, it is. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Papa, I love you.